All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to talk about Gervonta Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia and statements made by Ryan Garcia's father about the fight between the two being made. Is it true or is that just daddy talk? <laughs> Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound division talking about Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Tank Davis. Uh, there have been reports out that the fight between the two have been agreed upon and confirmed, and that the fight will be taking either in pla place either in December or January. And this coming from the father of Ryan Garcia. So. People came to my live stream today, bunch of people asking me about it. What do I think about it? Let's talk about that in this video. But before I do, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you guys so much for your support. If you are new to the channel, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Okay, here we go. First and foremost, uh, Ryan Garcia's father uh, was on an interview and he spread it around. It's going around YouTube. I got a link of it, link to it. It was on, uh, came out September 17th. And it was a short video in which some, a guy walked, uh, the channel holder, I don't recall the name of the guy that held the channel, uh, said, hey, are we going to get this fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia? And his father, Ryan Garcia's father says, 100%. Um, and then he proceeds to say, yeah, it's going to happen. I don't know because, you know, it, there are dates being thrown around of December or um, January, right? So that is what, from, from what I am seeing, what the information is that is having people believe that this fight is a done deal and confirmed and all of that. And, and it, and we're ready to rock in either December or or January, right? Now, if you look at that and you take it in context with what has happened over the last couple of weeks, right? Uh, it leads me to the conclusion that that fight is not done, that the fight is not, um, they do not have a fight date set for it, that they have not agreed to sign contracts or done any of that other type of, or any of that other stuff. Because in order for that to have been the case, it would have had to take place at such lightning speed that it would be uh, honestly unheard of in order to get done that fast. And so why do I say that? Because if you do your just a little bit of research, you will see that there was a boxing article, a boxing scene article that came out on September 12th of 2022. The date that is eight days ago, right? And five days before um, before Ryan Garcia's father said that this fight was done, on, but the, but at the same time they got a couple dates that are going around, where where Oscar De La Hoya said that he that Al Heyman was going to be the holdup of the fight, and I do believe a couple days before that he said that he hadn't talked to he had said and he said he sent a note to Ryan Garcia which said look nobody from uh, from Gervonta D Davis's team has even talked to me, right so. I'm not quite sure how in that short a period of time that they could have went from um, Oscar De La Hoya saying no one, no one's ever talked to him to getting all of the details done. And the only thing that they're looking to figure out is the date of whether it's going to be in December or whether it's going to be in January. Right now, I'm not saying that there's no chance that, the, that this has happened. However, off of his father being interviewed, you know, just off the cuff. And, and a guy says, is this fight going to happen? And he says, yeah, hundred percent is going to happen. Right. But we don't know the date. Uh, we don't know whether it's going to be December or whether it's going to be January, but yeah, it's going to happen. That to me just sounds like somebody in their camp being optimistic, 
right? A hundred percent. Yeah, it's going to happen. That's what Terrence Crawford said months ago. He's, oh yeah. How confident are you that it's going to, going to be, oh yeah, I'm a hundred percent confident that it's going to happen. But at the same time, three weeks later, four months later, you know, three weeks later, a month later, two months later, the deal is still not done. And you got other people who were being asked about it that says, look, this is a 50, 50 chance, better than 50, 50 chance that it gets done this year. Now, Everything else that I've heard coming from Mayweather's camp, or excuse me, coming from uh, Gervonta Davis's camp has been that they hope this fight gets done, right? That they hope that the fight gets over the, over the finish line. So I know for sure that Ryan Garcia wants to fight. I know for sure that Gervonta Davis wants to fight. I do not for sure know, however, whether or not Oscar De La Hoya, who is, who is Ryan Garcia's promoter, or his trainer, Joe Duke Goosen, wants that fight at this particular time. And more than likely what is going on is that you have Ryan trying to push it, you know, in a back and forth, trying to push for the fight, just like you have Devin Haney trying to push for a fight with Ryan Gers with, with, uh, with Gervonta Davis. You got a lot of people pushing for fights in the media. It does not necessarily mean that these fights are going to take place and are going to take and, and that it's imminent that it is going to get that it is going to get done. I, when I sit back and I think about what is going on with Tank and Ryan, I still remember Joe Goosen saying that they need to do more work with Ryan Garcia. You still had questions from um, from Eddie Reynoso and uh, and Canelo Alvarez in the camp before last talking about whether or not Ryan Garcia was fully committed to the sport of boxing, right? Also, you have Ryan Garcia at 104, at 140 pounds. Is, is Oscar De La Hoya going to say, okay, let me bet one of my big cash cows on a fight that at best is 50-50, I mean, when I'm telling you at best at 50-50, I mean at best 50-50, and he probably believes it's less than 50-50. To make that fight now, when he wouldn't make fights with Jaime Munguia and and and, and um and Jamal Charlo and Ryan and Jaime Munguia has been around and has has had significantly more experience and more chance to grow than he than than um, Ryan Garcia has. You even have Oscar De La Hoya, who went with Virgil Ortiz, is taking the route of of trying to push for um, the WBO mandatory, the, excuse me, the WBA um, super championship with with um, uh, Amanda Staniansis instead of trying to order the WBO to make a fight with him and Terrence Crawford, right? I just don't believe that these guys really believe that Ryan Garcia is ready for Gervonta Davis right now because this could be a situation where Ryan Garcia gets, I mean, gets ruined in the fight. Gets not not a situation where you have you know Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Canelo where Canelo had already beaten guys like Cotto had already I, I mean I, I'm pretty sure that he had already beaten these guys like beaten Mosley and beaten Cotto and guys like that where he fought guys that were somewhere you know that whose skill level and experience level was somewhat close to the guy Floyd Mayweather Mayweather they were looking at right and where they thought that he may actually have a chance to win the fight. And trust me, they waited for a long time for that fight because I think Canelo Alvarez, shoot, he might have had 40 fights at that point in time and been a reigning champion and had like six, five or six title defenses of the WBA. Just the idea that they're going to do that with Ryan Garcia right now, to me, just doesn't make sense. And more, and also just based off what his father said, his father did not sound committal like, yeah, we're getting, this fight is absolutely finished. We've wrapped up the negotiations. The timing of it doesn't work because, because Oscar De La Hoya just said, Oscar De La Hoya just said that he hadn't even talked to Al Heyman and those guys yet. Even though I, I don't doubt that there are some conversations going on between maybe, you know, Tank's camp and Ryan Garcia's camp that don't include his promoter. But at the end of the day, he's going to need sign off from his promoter because it's his promoter. It's just what it is, you know, just like if Devin Haney has a promoter at top rank and they're trying to deal with, um, with a uh, showtime at some point in time, he's going to have to talk to both promoters, but let's hear, I hope they get the fight just doesn't sound like off this, that it is really all of that. But anyway, that's answering your question. Thank you so much for your support in the chat and the super chat. And with that, I'm out deuces. Mm-hmm.